Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today's video, I'm getting real with you guys, okay? I'm giving you guys that life advice we all need. So if you guys are ready, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, I know it's so hard becoming motivated in life. Like sometimes you're just like, what is my purpose? Like, what am I here to do? Like, I don't feel like doing anything. And that's totally normal. We all have our days, we all have our ups and downs. But my advice to becoming motivated is make yourself a list of goals, okay? Get yourself a piece of paper, get yourself a journal, write you even three goals for like the first three months, six months, a year. Just give yourself something to work for, to work hard for. So yeah, I suggest making a list of goals. Another way to not be motivated is to dwell on the past. Stop dwelling on the past. The past is the past, okay? We're living for right now and the future. And right now, the past is not important. So in order to become more motivated, stop just stop thinking about the past. It's harder for us overthinkers because we always, our minds are always running. We always go back to the past and thinking about stuff that happened in the past. So just leave it alone, okay? It is not worth it. So I can really relate to, but stop living your life for other people, okay? People will have expectations for you and you cannot go based off of that, okay? That is unrealistic. Live your life. This is your life. And it's easier said than done because especially if you're a people pleaser, like you always want other people to be happy instead of yourself. But stop living your life for other people. They're not gonna make sure you're okay 24 seven, you are. And if you're not okay, your mind won't be okay and you won't be motivated enough to do anything. So just stop listening to all the noise, okay? It don't matter. Now, not being motivated and feeling stuck in life kind of go hand in hand because it's like you don't you don't know what to do. You're just stuck and it's like to become unstuck, you just have to think happy thoughts. You have to do things for yourself. Oh, the light in change. I'm sorry. I live near the mountains and it's about to rain and like the clouds just cover the sun, but this lighting is better anyway. But anyways, like I was saying, if you're feeling stuck in life, just find your purpose. Find something that brings you joy. Do things that make you happy. Find those hobbies that you enjoy doing. And I swear you will become like, oh, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to do in life. And if it can make you money also, you're you're in it. You're in it to win it. I know for me, I love sketching. I love um, dancing. I love listening to music. So I write songs and I know that can make me money. I can make music and all that and like making dance routines and and fashion, I want to be a fashion designer that can also make me money, but I won't do it for the money. It's because I'm happy. And if you're happy in what you're doing and you're also making money, that, that's a plus. But if you're feeling stuck in life, just try new things. Go out, meet new people, and see what see what goes on in your life. Go outside and just like enjoy nature. I feel like if you're really feeling stuck, if you do those things, it will make a big difference. When I say like find something that will make you happy, but also making you money, because I know if you're like not financially happy right now, it can be so hard because you're like, okay, I'm doing my purpose in life. It's making me happy that way, but my pockets are like not happy. And in order for that to happen, you have to invest in yourself, okay? When I say invest in yourself, find one of those hobbies work hard at it do something that you love because that way you won't be worried about it you like you'll be happy doing what you're you won't be tired all the time but even if you have to work a job there was this quote that says work a nine to five to pay for your five to nine like your extra business and then use that extra business to pay for your 24 7 so that means pay for like the rest of your life and you'll be set like sometimes we don't want to work a nine to five job and sometimes you have to do that especially when you're young you have to build that money up so you can do something that you really want to do and when you're young, you always want to splurge because you're like, okay, I don't have to worry about money right now. I'm young. I really don't have to save. But it's always good to save no matter what. And when you save, you put, you invest that money into something that will make you more money. And I feel like if you have that mindset, you will make it in life. And if you're not financially um, stable right now, it's okay. Just keep working. Keep grinding. Um, it will all come together in the end. There's really nothing to worry about. I say stop worrying, start praying, and everything will be all right. But that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it it was really short and sweet but i really just wanted to put that advice out there because i'm going through some of those things and i wanted to help other people if you are going through those things i feel like like a lot of people in this world we don't talk to each other anymore we don't give advice anymore i feel like we keep everything to ourselves and i really don't want to do that anything i learn for myself i want to bring it out there into the world so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye